Do, were you real close to someone in, when you were in there that you haven't heard from or you know passed away? Um, I don't know if anybody passed away. What was that? That's... Because yeah. <coughs> I picked up it was somebody that she it didn't knew. Show it's not, it's just going to make that noise. Um, it'll show when it goes up to, um, the temperature goes up and down. I'll show you the numbers. <coughs> what is it? What is, it actually has a set of numbers for the EMF, and it also has a set of numbers for the temperature. And it just says zero, zero. What's the numbers underneath the zero, zero? There is Yeah, there is. You just can't see it. It's a temperature. It should be, unless that's not ours. Ours has both. No, this one doesn't have a Okay. All right. Is anybody here wants to talk to us? All right, they just showed me a cookie jar. It looks almost like it It has, it's made, it's ceramic, and it looks yeah, like Yeah, there's one in here I got from Barbara's house. Yeah, they're showing me a, a cookie jar ceramic jar yeah and um there's something attached there's someone attached to that jar do you know where she got it from no i've got to ask her okay did one eagle didn't do any saging wise in her did he no eric's got asthma so okay. he can't really handle it you know uh the haunted collector thing you, you gotta be careful when you bring in stuff from other people's places. Okay. Um, especially if they're having a lot of negative energy. All right. And uh, they are over there. Um, yeah. when, when you go over there, how do you feel? Uneasy. Like almost overwhelmed? Not really overwhelmed, just uneasy. Like something's staring at me and I feel that sometimes over here. Well, when you're going over there and you're coming back, you know, they can walk with you yeah. they can come into your place. Um, I would strongly suggest you sage in here. Or um, outside. Yeah. Okay. At they least once circle. a week. I and mean, we will do that before Around we leave. Your trailer. All right. Um, but the sage. I, I just feel like there's a lot of energy that comes from over there. Um, that just it's craving energy. It's craving uh, an energy source. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody here now who wishes to speak to us? All you have to do is give us a sign that you're here. Light up our lights. Do you have a female on your side? I feel like... She's... It's hard to say mother or grandmother because she feels like almost like a grandmother who is more like a mother. Yeah, I was raised by my grandparents and she died of cancer. That's what I grandmother's right here in this area. She she was a grandmother but she act, she acted like the mother. Yeah. She was the one who raised um raised the kids because I I don't I feel like there was a dysfunction if the mother was not present. Yeah, exactly. Okay, there was a dysfunction there. Yeah. The, okay, the grandmother's wanting to let you know. You know, she's here. Um, she's alerting you. I, I think she's yeah. concerned about the energy that you keep bringing in here that's attaching to you yeah. from that other area. Okay. Um, and she's acting as a, like a guide, like as a protector. She's. I'm feeling very, very hot right now. Is there a Bobby or a Robert? How did she die? Was... Was there a high fever involved? She had cancer, and I was there with my grandpa when he died and when she died. It feels very, very hot. Like from inside, like a burning sensation. And I know you were getting the heat over there. Um, so you got a Bobby or a Robert? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, she said Dick. You said what? Dick. <laughs> I know who that is. Well, let's talk to your grandmother for a minute because maybe she can give us some insight. She just told me 
for some reason, maybe this isn't somebody you've met yet, but to beware of somebody like, like Bob or Bobby. Just don't trust them. Really? Yes. I know somebody named Bob that's uh, my ex-brother-in-law's dad lives in Florida. But and I, I hear from him every now and then. Well, there's something coming up where he's going to come around or you're going to hear from him. Okay. And she just says, don't believe him and don't trust him. There's some, right. well, somebody's been in jail. Not me. Not you. Uh, but somebody has been in jail. The spirit is here. Someone passed away that's been in jail. This, this person was in jail. And he's here, and he's ang he, he's angry. Yeah, I know who that is, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay, he's very angry. Um, is this is someone? Is he vengeful? I I feel like uh, quite possible, yes. Yeah. Uh, is he related to you? No. Okay, why is he here with around you? Uh, I can't really talk about that. Uh, okay, that but you can confirm it. Yeah. Okay. Um. I I really feel uh, concerned for you, for that reason. Yeah, I've, I've been wondering about that. Okay. Um, the best thing we can do before we leave tonight is have one eagle save you, and um, if we can make peace with this person, if... Yeah, I feel that anger. Oh, He's very okay. angry, and um, I, I feel like, I feel knives around him. I feel very sharp knives. I feel like he liked to sh hunt. I feel like he liked to kill. He... Is he the one that scratched me in the kitchen one He's time? He's very angry. Yeah. He's quite capable of scratching yeah. you. He's quite capable of doing whatever the hell he wants Eric's to do. Eric's been waking up with bruises sometimes. And yeah. I feel like if he would knock at the door, he would beat on the door. I feel like he knocks holes in the walls. I, I feel like he's the type of person that um, would drink and just be mean and get in fights and look to beat people up. I feel like I feel like he's even pulls your hair like this in the back. Like hey, like he's yelling at you and, and you're not aware that he's yelling at you, but he's right there yelling at you. He's screaming at you. Yes, I just got a full on red. He's screaming at you. Okay. Well sir, maybe if you'd like to talk to us because she can't really hear you and you obviously need someone to talk to, so we're here. Um, your anger that you felt or feel, is that related to how you died? Are you getting a reading? Why are you showing me these knives? He's showing me this sharp knife and it looks like a, almost like a fillet knife because it has like a sharp point on it. It's, it's not like a straight, straight knife. It has like a... Was it a shank? It's a weird shaped knife. I don't know how you would describe they, they it. They made homemade knives in, in prison. And Is that how this person died? No. Did he, was he, was he used it? He was shot. Okay. Yeah. But he was, he was, he, he stabbed somebody. Yeah, it's a good possibility. You stabbed somebody, didn't you? I just want to know, you stabbed somebody. Why? What did they do? They told on you for something, didn't they? Alright, I got you. I understand. Okay, so you were shot. And now you're here. So, you're obviously not where you need to be because you're not happy. You're still angry and you're lost and you're in a bad place. Right? Are you listening? He says he wants his mother. Yeah, so we just got to uh, yes for that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask for your mother to come forward for you. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's call your mother and have her come forward for you so that you can she can show you where the light is. Are you listening, sir? Is his mother still alive? Yeah. Yeah, she's still alive, I heard him say. My mother's still alive. There's someone... That he can come for him. Your grandmother, there's got to be someone in spirit that you were close to. He doesn't, he's not like, he's an uncle. Maybe 
thing that he stuffs with an arm. Right? Oh, it's like, he's like he's, I feel like he's holding on to my arm and it hurts. He's like, he's crying now. He's crying over his mother. Are you sad about your mom? Do you feel like you let her down? Because she cries about you. Let's call a loved one for you. Who do you want us to call? Is your uncle? He said his uncle. Grandmother, anybody can come for you. Oh, man. What I want you to do is I want you to realize that whatever you did here, you have to forgive yourself and you have to ask for forgiveness going forward. Do you understand? You don't have to continue to pay for these these mistakes that you made and what you did was really bad but you can you can be forgiven if you go into the light I know you're scared I know you think you're gonna go to hell but I want you to trust me that you're not I want you to go into the light you understand what I'm saying yeah. what I want was that you, noise I want you to go into the light is that him James, I don't know James did, did you, you hear that noise, noise? I didn't. James, did you make a noise? I adjusted the camera. I don't know if it made a noise. I didn't really hear it. I heard it. It didn't sound like a camera. Did you hear it? I heard it, but I thought it was him. Yeah, I thought it was him shifting his weight or something. Were you moving, James? Yes, ma'am. I was moving. Did you make any noise? I didn't hear any. I'm sorry. That's okay. It probably was. I was moving at the exact time you were saying I heard something. Okay. All right. Now we're getting re. Okay, sir. Are you listening to us again? Please, listen to me. Let's pray together. Let's pray to God and Jesus for forgiveness for you. And I want you to go into the light. I want you to go with the angels into the light. Really hard. He wants to get a message to his mother. He just wants her to know that he's sorry. You know, one of these days you're going to see your mom again. Do you understand? She'll be coming too. And you'll be able to see her. And you'll be able to hug each other. And everything will be like it was perfect. There'll be nothing but love between you. Do you understand? Do you believe me? Wow. I just, I just want you to go into the light. I'm seeing bright light around you. Do you see it? He feels like a pit in the stomach. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. He's scared. He thinks he's going to go to hell. This yeah. guy's really, he's old school he in his wants, belief system. He wants, it. he wants his uncle. Would it help if you gave him permission to go? Since he knows you a little bit? Um, I don't know. Do you want to tell him I to go? I want him to go. Okay, she wants you to go. Yeah, for your own sake. It's time to go. He knows it's, okay. He knows it's not... We can't make you go. Tell him I'm sorry. He knows yeah. not. He's... he's he, what he was that? It. What was that? Drake. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. She's sorry. Do you understand? He forgives you. He realizes his anger. I feel his anger diminishes. It's just it's dissipating. Yeah, it's dissipating because his mother wants him to forgive you, and and his uncle. He says he sees his uncle now. They say forgive. Are you forgive. ready to go? Forgiving everybody, everything. Okay. Oh, what a relief! Do you feel the lift? Is he gone? He's gone. Um, I'm getting cold chills. Just like he just yeah. lifted I'm getting up. a little bit of a chill over here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, that that hate, that anger is gone. I felt it when he he, he stabbed wow. somebody. Huh? I felt the knife go in. Yeah, but he's he was messed up. It, it's weird when you feel that. But he's okay. He's he's they got him. Okay. He's All with right. the angels. He's okay. All right. That's 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 who's been bothering you. Yeah, that's who it was. He's gone, and he forgave you. He forgave. All right. He, he just forgave everything. Okay. And he went into the light with his uncle. Because his uncle said that he was going to take it to see his mom. 